guys, welcome back. Um, today is a, another start to a new video. Um, I just wanted to show you, I got the boys a couple new pajamas in the mail. Sorry, I'm out of breath. We were just outside. There's like construction going on across the street and the boys wanted to see it. And then the bobcat was like backing up and we were just like standing there and I was like, okay, it's time to go inside. Ben's been having like a mental breakdown since I picked Michael up from school 45 minutes ago. <laughs> and he just flipped out. I had to like carry him in and he was like flailing. So let me show you what I got the boys. So a fun fact about Michael, who's five, he like has to sleep in long sleeves, like long pants and long sleeve shirt. So Gap is like my favorite for pajamas. I know that they're owned by Old Navy, but like Gap is better than Old Navy. I personally think um, they just wash and dry so much better. They stay like stretchy and don't stretch out. Um, hold on, let me just open these. So I got Michael, this is just a long sleeve um, shirt with the matching long sleeve pants and these are like his favorite they're really stretchy and they're like tight and then i thought these were absolutely precious like how cute um this is from their organic line and at the gap at our mall um they don't have these like these are only online and these might have been online exclusives now that i say that what sweetie uh -huh. so this morning i woke up Okay, let me like make it look nice because it's literally brand new. Mike was in West Palm Beach for the past couple of days and he hinted to me that he was getting me a Louis Vuitton. I've never had a brand new designer bag in my life. I know, like, how lame am I? But now I do. It smells like incredible. The leather's per like, I'm dead. Hold on. The lighting's not good in here. Hold on. So I would say he did a pretty good job. Um, he sent me the picture of the regular one. This is the Damian print. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and it has the red, the red inside, which I die for. And, um, you know, obviously I've like thought about getting this bag someday, but I didn't know when and I'm so happy that I went with it it comes with this um that's actually removable that I can use as a clutch like how freaking gorgeous I'm just I still can't get over it oh here it is it's the Neverfull MM um also so just thoughts on it like um, the straps are brown compared to the other style that has the actual Louis Vuitton LVs all over them, um, which has that really light tan leather strap. And me with like, just being a slob. <laughs> and like, you know, I, I really am glad that I went with the brown, um, the brown trim, which is obviously this pattern, the Damian comes with the brown trim and the red inside. It was just like, this is my bag. Um, the size is absolutely perfect. Um, I'm sure you'll be seeing this on me a, a ton. So you'll be able to see, like, I just literally look like a sweaty mess right now. So I'm not going to show you what baby I'm coming one second. Um, okay, so what else did I want to say about it? Um, it's like the perfect carry-on bag. I can put my laptop in here, everything, and I just could not be happier. Mike, if you're watching this, which you probably are because you're my biggest fan, <laughs> I love you. Thank you again. I'm over the moon excited. Um, I just feel like this is like, you know, like obviously I'm starting off hopefully someday I'll own more designer bags but like I've literally been obsessed with this bag forever it's just like so many people have it it's like the go-to bag for everything people use it as a diaper bag carry-on bag um everyday bag it's just perfect and like this is like the best starter bag like I feel like this is just like perfect anyways I'm just gonna stop saying how perfect and how obsessed I am with it because you can just clearly tell so yeah I'm just I'm really pumped about this too so like you can obviously you just take it off it's clipped in here and you can take it off and 
use it so like this leather pulls up okay like if it would thank you like you get what I'm saying like you keep pulling it up and it will be a wristlet so like for for dinner or for like any even like weddings like use this as my little clutch oh what's this Louis Vuitton textile I don't know and it just smells incredible and I'm just sweating like I literally have upper lip sweat right now I need to go okay good morning guys <sighs> I'm wearing lip gloss I don't even remember the last time I wore lip gloss I was just feeling it today I got my nails done yesterday I got um, this is Funny Bunny by OPI. I sent Michael into school this morning with his gifts to his teacher. And so, tip for you parents. Being a card, like a thank you card or like a happy birthday card is literally atrocious that it's like five to seven dollars for two pieces, like a piece of paper folded. I know that like some of them play songs and yada yada, but like honestly, I personally save my cards I do I know some people throw them away um, but like people that have passed away in my family like I still have the cards from them and I don't know I just think it's really nice to save cards but anyway some people don't and I know that some cards we've gotten have gone missing I'm not saying I've like I particularly keep every single one but um, just the whole point is that it's like ridiculous how expensive a flipping card is from Hallmark and so anyways so if you have a child as soon as they can put a pen to paper or a crayon to paper or a marker to paper if you have to hold their hand and do it those are so much more like meaningful and special and like it's from like the little kid so it's really like special so anyways Every single birthday card, Father's Day card, um, Christmas card, and you name it card, we make. And I have Michael write it. So, for his teacher, I talked to one of my friends that I think she teaches kindergarten. And she was just like, gift cards are the best. Like, I know that you want to be like sentimental and cute and like get something meaningful. She's like, but I just want gift cards. And I was like, no, I totally get it. Like, I want gift cards too. So, um, last year I got his teacher, what did, oh, I got them these really nice, um, beach blankets that you can like wrap but you can like wrap up and put over your shoulder. They're really nice. And they had like this pretty like pink, um, like starfish print. I don't know. So I got them both that because it's like the end of the school year, beginning of summer. So they could use those. Um, and that was their gift. And I had him write out a card, but that was their gift. And then I totally forget what I got them the year before. Totally. I honestly have no idea what I even, I mean, I got his teacher or something, but I don't know. So anyways, this year I was thinking of like doing a cute little basket and like um, putting like lotions and like kind of like summer themes like lotions and maybe like a sunscreen and like a towel and doing like a cute little beach basket. But it's just like after talking to my friend, she's like, I just want gift cards. And I'm like, you know what? That's so easy. So whatever. So anyways, after me talking for this long, the point of the story is, is I got both of that. So he has two teachers. I got them both gift cards to Starbucks and in the card. So he did the whole front and he wrote Miss Whoever and Miss Whoever and he decorated it with stickers. And then on the inside of the card on the top, I had him write I don't know, I asked him what he wanted to say and he said, thank you for being the best teachers ever, I think. Yeah, thank you for being the best teachers ever. And then under that, I wrote, um, like just thank you for a great year, yeah, I did blah, blah, blah. And then I said, we can never thank you enough, but we can buy your coffee. And then we gave them the gift card. So I thought that was cute, you know. I just can't believe friggin' done with preschool. Like, what is my life? What is happening? 
how old am I? Like, that is the question. I literally feel like I'm 19 years old, but like trapped in a 26 year old's body. And it's so crazy. And like, I know that when people like, like our parents or like our aunt and uncles, for example, are always like, I'm young at heart. Like, I feel like I'm 20 and like, I get it. <laughs> like, I know I'm not old, but I'm just saying like, I get that. Like, I don't think I'll ever like feel like I'm old. You know what I mean? Oh my God. Let me clear my throat. Oh! All right, sorry, I just needed that dance break. I got my new bag next to me. I'm obsessed. It's the first time I'm using it. Like, I was like scared to touch it. <laughs> But like I said, I want this to be like my, just like a bag that I use. I don't know, I'm the kind of person, like I'm not gonna buy something not to wear them. Like my Givenchy slides already have scratches on, like on the inside, not like scratches, but like, like scrapes from like if I've hit my feet together and like, that's fine. Like I'm not gonna like buy something expensive not to wear it. I don't understand the point of that. Maybe I'm just a slob and abuse things, but like whatever. No, I'll take precious care of her. But like shoes, like slides, like what am I supposed to do? I'll see ya a little bit later. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna end, yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Love you so much. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe, share with your friends, let everyone know. I'd greatly appreciate it. Like, so much. Okay, love you, bye. Na 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 na